Fern Podcasts. Well, why do astronomy? Yeah, I mean, it's many people uh, get into astronomy because they first look at the night sky when they're children and they just get excited about the sort of uh, the possibilities out there, the fact that the universe is, is so much bigger than us and there's so many uh, different things going on in it that have nothing to do with our everyday world. That's uh, an impressive kind of uh, concept and that's probably why I got into astronomy. So I've always had an interest as a kid in space. Um, I had my own little backyard telescope when I was, when I was young. I used to look at the, the moon and the planets. Um, so when I got older, I went to university, did a, a degree in physics, and was very interested in the astronomy and astrophysics courses. So I signed up for a PhD in astronomy and then never looked back. I've, I've always had some interest in, in astronomy, but I wouldn't say that I actually came at it from the amateur astronomy point of view. I never really owned a telescope, for example. I guess I came into it more from the side of, of physics, which I was interested in, and, and had some interest in space all this, all this time. And then as I started taking courses at my undergraduate university, so that was in Canterbury in New Zealand, uh, I discovered that you know, the astronomy was the really interesting stuff, and physics started to become difficult, <laughs> and less interesting perhaps. Uh, and so I sort of just naturally went in that direction, and things you know, fell into place since then. I've always been interested in, uh, in science. Uh, I, I drifted into doing uh, physics and astronomy at uh, Leicester University as an undergraduate. Uh, I actually came out here as a summer student uh, in 2000, I think it was, and worked for the then director. Um, uh, and the, their encouragement got, got me into doing a PhD at Cambridge, and I've just sort of never looked back, really. Well, I think I always knew I wanted to be a scientist, but at the age of 16, I can remember, I really wasn't sure what type of scientist I want to be. And then I think it was the pretty pictures in astronomy that really kind of, you know, got me into thinking about pursuing a career in astronomy. Um, And then it went from there. I sort of took a year out, um, or at the end of my first year of university, I seriously toyed with the idea of being a geologist, but astronomy won out in the end. No, I really wasn't an amateur astronomer. I I didn't have a telescope. I joined the astronomy club at university and went to a grand total of one sort of evening viewing session. And the number of stars I know in the night sky is is less than on one hand. And when I started, I didn't know what I was going to do my PhD on. And it was literally a case of my supervisor having two papers, one of which was astronomical and the other one which was the destruction of ancient Minoan civilization and I picked one and I ended up in astronomy and otherwise I would be modelling fluid flow, I'd be modelling tsunamis. I accidentally ended up doing physics as my undergraduate degree, no intention of doing that and then um, I left that with a Master of Physics uh, which is a kind of equivalent in the UK of a BA honours here, uh, BSc honours and then decided that I would leave because I hated physics and never wanted to see it again and then spent a year traveling and doing menial jobs and reading new scientists because I really missed the science Uh, and in the course of this kind of later on that year I kind of found myself going well why don't I just go and do a PhD in astronomy and 